my god, I have all of these rifles right here, and I need to take them with me to the range, but I can't just carry a rifle onto the range. What am I gonna do? Oh wait, what's this behind me? A, a butcher! Oh my god, Save Your Equipment sent me all these super cool rifle bags. They sent me three different styles. And you guys know I'm sort of a bag expert. This is the 42 inch Urban Warfare Multicam. It's really cool. Look, a flap, and you can put two rifles in it. How neat is that? Webbing on the front, open it up. Got more pouches on the inside. Guess what? It's a backpack. Here we have the Specialist Covert. All the pouches you could ever hope for. This one also can carry two rifles. The 36 inch Specialist bag. Look at all the pockets, all the molly. It is a backpack. Save Your Equipment has all the bags. Rifle cases, pistol cases, backpack, pouches. Go to SaveYourEquipment.com and use the code DONUT to get 15% off plus free shipping. My co-host is here. All right, we're going to do a Leo recap. First order of business, I found a meme I need to show everyone. Fisher Price releases my first peaceful protest playset with house you can actually burn down. <laughs> I came across this on Protect and Serve, right? It says Jacksonville, Florida, and this was this week. Jacksonville, Florida police arrest two men Wednesday trying to steal a utility pole, which they had strapped to the top of an SUV and were driving through the streets. But if you're a donut operator OG, you'll know I did this story three years ago. Protect and Serve has been duped into fake news. Back in September 2017, two Florida men, uh, they strapped a utility pole to the top of their Kia Sorento thinking no one would notice. When I did the story back in 2017, I didn't think very much of it. It's like, oh, look, they stole a utility pole. But when I saw this the second time, I got to thinking, how? How did they how did they do that? How did they get it on top of the Kia Sorento by themselves? It's two guys. Like, they're not tiny dudes, but they're also not the mountain i actually did some research it was like all right utility pole how much do they weigh and you know that's a that's a steel utility pole and i was looking in the smallest utility pole that utilitypolesolutions.com has 4,500 pounds that are heavy duty direct berry poles that's a direct berry pole let's call it florida man strength the power of copious amounts of methamphetamine and blue top vodka Got that pole on top of that Kia Sorento. The sheriff's department investigated it because they're driving around with a 50 foot long, 4,500 pound pole on top of a Kia Sorento. And the sheriff's department determined that one of the guys has 73 pawn, 73 pawn transactions the year this happened. And 72 of them were scrap metal related. They were gonna take it to the scrap yard to earn a little cash so they could buy some synthetic drugs and probably eat another human being in public. It is Florida after all. When you got two brain cells to rub together because the methamphetamine is eating the rest of them, it, it goes back to like your monkey brain, like your primal brain. I see pole, pole worth money, pole on Sorrento, pole to scrapyard. Speaking of monkey brain. Who's out here having dinner? Oh, Who could it be? <laughs> Whose toes are those? <laughs> Who's that great ape right there? That was an ugly ass baby. You guys ever see a chimp with no hair? You remember when that chimp ripped that woman's jaw off? Ain't nothing to fuck around with, man. They are beefy. They are big old boys. Louisiana man, who surprisingly isn't a Florida man, has been arrested and charged with holding a gun to his nine-year-old son's head for drinking the last Dr. Pepper in the house. I'm just wondering why we got rid of public hangings. Oh, probably the saddest news that I have for everyone today the video i made with demolition ranch where we shot each other with less than lethal weapons has been age restricted after being up for a year the video is awesome there was nothing wrong with it there was no reason to age restrict it whatsoever defund the police activist Alyssa milano called 911 sparking massive police presence in her quiet california neighborhood claiming an armed gunman was on her property, but it was really a teen shooting at squirrels with an air gun. At least seven Ventura County Sheriff's vehicles, one K-9 unit, a police helicopter, and one Los Angeles Fire Department team sat down the street on standby. The 47-year-old lives on an 8,000 square foot, $2.5 million home in the upscale gated community that sits just 20 minutes north of Los Angeles. They all rushed out there to protect your ass. 
Miss, let's defund them. Look, there she is right there. Defund the police. This is the problem. We've militarized the police to protect and serve, please. How many hungry children would the cost of this tank feed? All right, first of all, you guys know I've gone over this so many freaking times, man. The Sheriff's Department didn't pay for that. It was given to them by the United States military to protect officers, especially in like active shooter situations, situations where they need to retrieve bodies or floods. Didn't cost them a thing but you 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 don't care to do your research listen to what one neighbor said she uses her platform in hypocritical ways why not send your husband into the yard to find out what is actually going on before you call the police i would guesstimate the response today from law enforcement cost taxpayers thousands of dollars one neighbor said yeah glad to hear the neighbors hate her too though holy shit it actually says it in the headlines i didn't even see that she retweeted it saying how much did this cost and how many hungry children could it feed? But look right here, it says the Moundsville Police Department has added a vehicle to the fleet. I'll tell you everything this MRAP offers and explain how the department got it for free. <laughs> oh, no. Woman told officer, I have to poop so bad before high speed chase. I have used this excuse to get out of a ticket before. I got pulled over. I was younger. I probably had weed in the car because it was before the Navy. Officers, like, you're driving really fast out here. You're speeding. And I'm like, I'm about, I'm about to shit on myself. I gotta poop. I gotta poop so bad. I'm so sorry. I just really gotta, get, I really gotta get home. And it's like, uh, you know, if someone's really gonna say that, then they probably do need to poop. And the guy let me go. Crying women. I, I would always give crying women a ticket because I know you're full of shit. But if I walked up to someone's window and they were like, dude, I am about to shit my pants in my car right now and I didn't see anything out of the ordinary, I probably would've just been like, all right, man, go ahead. <laughs> all right, so this woman had sold officers. She had a doo-doo before the high-speed chase. I haven't read this yet. What do you think happened? Do you think she said, I have to poo, and then, and then drove off? Enid, Oklahoma. An Oklahoma woman who refused to cooperate during a traffic stop sparked a high-speed chase and guns being drawn. 28-year-old Emily Owings was initially pulled over for not wearing her seatbelt. She also didn't have a license or her insurance. The only form of identification she had on her was her medical marijuana card. <laughs> That's not the only form of identification you want to have on you during a traffic stop. Just throwing that out there. I can make this more fun. I'm the officer and you're Owings, okay? Okay. Okay, are you ready? Your license is suspended. Why? I don't know. I didn't know that. Now I'm waiting to see if you have warrants through Woods County. But I have to poop so bad. <laughs> oh, no. Where do you think I was going? It's my birthday. It's my fucking birthday. Why won't you just let me go? Because your license is suspended. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Otherwise, I won't drive no more. But can I please go home and go poop? <laughs> if I can get you to step out of the vehicle for me. You are under arrest. Are you kidding me? Why? You have warrants in Woods County and they're coming to get you. No, they're not. Fuck you guys. And then she put the key into the ignition and sped off. A pursuit lasted several blocks with speeds topping 70 miles an hour. Police say Owings blew through stop signs and a school zone. She eventually stopped and surrendered when officers <laughs> pointed their guns at her. Owings would not let the subject drop as she was cuffed and taken to a squad car. Can I poop right. in your car, man? <laughs> You could have already been on your way to jail. Yeah, but not pooping. <laughs> Police searched Owings' car and found a pipe with meth inside it. Owings was booked into the Garfield County Detention Center and faces several felony charges. That was verbatim. Oh By the way, God. we did not make that up. Look, verbatim. Right there. Your license is suspended. Why? I don't know. And now I'm waiting to see if you have warrants through Woods County I have and. To poop so bad. Where do you think I was birthday, going? Man. Huh? I said it's my birthday. Please just let me go. Because I know your license is suspended. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know it was. I won't drive no more, but can I please go home and go poop? You have warrants through Woods County and they're coming to get you. No, they're not. Ma'am. You guys. Get my poop in your car, man. Well, you could have already been on your way to jail. Yeah, not pooping. Get in the car. <laughs>